A new building is starting to take shape on the McCrossin Boys Ranch campus in Northwest Sioux Falls. The nonprofit has been raising funds to renovate and expand its school. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Bridget Bennett gives us a look at construction now underway and the need for growth in their services. Make sure you are coloring in one direction. It is a smaller class size and it's so much easier to get to know every student that's in the classroom. He worked very hard on this earlier today. Roberta Rood is the art teacher at McCrossin Boys Ranch and has deep relationships with all of her students. And so I easily know what's going on with every student every day, not just in my classroom, but other classrooms as well. So if a student is having an off day, we can help. It's part of what makes their high school so unique and necessary for many of the students they serve. Our boys arrive here for a variety of different reasons. Um, we have Department of Social Service kids, we have Department of Correction students, we have private placement students here. There is so much trouble in families. There's a lot of dysfunction out there, um, people struggling and uh, our kids are on the wrong side of that. It's why McCrossin Boys Ranch began nearly 70 years ago, working to help provide hope and a better life for the boys who come through their doors. A lot of times for our kids, they might be the first in their whole family tree to ever graduate from high school. You guys are doing a great job. The teachers here help you a lot more. There's less students in the classroom, so the teachers get around to you more. 17-year-old Ethan is one of the students who will soon be graduating from McCrossin Boys Ranch. Really good at running, so I'm hoping to get a scholarship somewhere. I have one offer so far. He's also an award-winning member of the school's cross-country and track team. It helps me release my anger, and it's always been helpful because it's definitely one of my coping mechanisms. We have two sports here at McCrossin, so that actually compete yeah, with the South Dakota State High School uh, Athletic Association. It's one of the reasons the nonprofit set a goal of expanding its school and services, adding a new track, gym, and classrooms to the current buildings on the 90-acre campus. We want our kids to have that same experience that they would get at a, a regular high school. We think they deserve it. Construction is already underway on the 8,000 square foot addition to the school that the boys will move into this fall. But construction on the track won't begin until they can raise the rest of a $5 million capital campaign. We did a community appeal, um, raised about $3.5 million. Well, in today's world, um, Prices go up on everything, so we still have some money to raise yet. It's a major investment that will also help fill a big need in the community. There is always uh, an abundance of uh, calls, um, referrals for, for our services. Right now, McCross and Boys Ranch serves up to 200 youth at the ranch each year with space for 72 boys to live on the campus. But there are many more boys across the region in need of the services. Really, the, the system in South Dakota right now is a little, little short on places for kids to go. And so for us, um, we want to help as many kids and families as we can. And so expanding our school is part of how we can do that. Teachers like Rude are excited for the chance to help more students like Ethan finish high school and find success in the future. So for those students who are struggling in a public school right now, who don't know what to do, who are falling through the cracks because there's too many kids, this would be a great place for them. Now that the new school is being built, I feel like there will be way more room and not as crowded. And so, yeah, I think people would like it here. With Eye on Kenneland, I'm Bridget Bennett. Construction on the new school expansion will be complete this summer. They hope to raise the remaining $1.3 million in their campaign to start construction on track as soon as possible. If you're interested in donating, we've provided a link with this story on Kelloland.com.